Welcome to a demonstration of video imaging of a cloud of methane gas using a mid-infrared laser. So the gentleman in this conventional room light video shot is spraying methane into the room. And as you would expect, the methane is invisible. But this cloud can be made visible. We are going to show you results right now of work done at St. Andrews University in the UK that produced a video image of the methane in the room. The instrument key to this experiment is the Firefly IR, a mid-infrared laser manufactured by M squared lasers in the UK. Scientific Connections is the representative to contact in the United States. This compact laser contains a pump diode laser, a DPSS laser at 1064 nanometers and a 10 nanosecond pulse duration, and an optical parametric oscillator. In an OPO, each pump photon, that's at 1064 nanometers in this case, generates one idler photon and one signal photon in the nonlinear crystal inside the firefly. The output in this case is the idler, which typically can be tuned between 2.8 and 4.5 microns. The pulse repetition rate is 150 kilohertz and the infrared output power is greater than 250 milliwatts. The beam quality on this laser is really quite nice uh, with an M squared of about 1.5 and this is quite advantageous for applications like this in remote sensing. So what we did first was to laser scan the mid-infrared spectrum of methane. You see that we get excellent agreement with the NIST HITRAN database. Uh, the laser spectral brightness, that is the line width, which is 3 to 10 wave numbers, is quite effective in this, kind of, in this case because it is similar to the molecular line width of species in the atmosphere. Then we set the firefly to the strong absorption band of methane at 3.35 microns, that's 3,350 nanometers for the imaging run. And the laser beam was then raster scanned across the subject. In the video you're about to see, you see our, our researcher again in the laboratory spraying methane and the conventional video and simultaneously you see the mid-infrared 3.35 micron videos. There are essentially three features of the Firefly that make it very well suited for these imaging application. Well, the first feature would be the high average power and also the high peak power of the laser. The peak power owes mainly to its less than 10 nanosecond pulse duration and that can be in the hundreds of watts. Second uh, main feature is the high spectral brightness of the laser, that is due mainly to its narrow line width and this is essential for high signal to noise ratios and also for long standoff distances. And the third essential feature is the high repetition rate which is uh, greater than 150 kilohertz and this makes really real-time video imaging possible. 